Hi. So today I'm going to demonstrate a new quickly widget that Stuart Langridge created. You might know Stuart as Aquarius on Freenode if you ever uh, hang out with him. So he, this is in the trunk of quickly widgets right now. And so I'm going to show you how to program with it. So what this widget does is asynchronously downloads anything from the web for you. So first I need to import it. And since it's in the uh, quickly widgets module, I'll just go there. It's called URL fetch progress box. Okay, so now I've downloaded the module and now I can use that progress box. I can use that URL fetch progress box. And what I want it to do, I want to call, I want to get an RSS feed and pass it to this function called create grid from feed and this function takes parses the feed and displays it. So first I just need to create that fe that URL fetch um, progress box object and what he takes is a URL to some resource on the web. This could be an image, it could be a web page, in this case it's an RSS feed. Now I just need to tell it that when it's done downloading, what function to call. And this function is right here, create grid from feed. Okay, and so it'll download it and then pass it into this create grid from feed function. What create feed grid from feed does is expects an RSS feed. It uses beautiful soup to parse it. It creates a list of dictionaries to represent the dents from that feed. And then it displays that in a dictionary grid. So let's just run it and see how it works. Um, just widen this a little so you can there you go, get a better view. So you can see that I'm running it. I'm running quickly widgets from trunk. So I can't use quickly run because uh, in this case. So I'll just run it. Oh, and so did you see that the window painted everything and it, uh, and then loaded the all the dents here. Here's all the dents that are in the Ubuntu feed. I'll just run it real quick so you can see that effect again. You see it. Do you see how it how it works? The UI doesn't freeze while it's loading it. Now there may be a case where you it maybe takes a little longer and maybe you want to show some progress. Well, Stuart actually handled that in the class because you can simply just show this and then pack it in. So I'll call the builder. There is of course VBox1 in a quickly app VBox1 is the main um, container and I'll just pack them in there. Uh, pack in the fetcher and I'll say I don't really want them to expand and all that. So now if I run it, you'll actually see a little bit of progress. So you see that progress down here? So boom, that's all it takes. Notice that it hides itself when it's done. I don't have to write any code to respond to the progress being done. So even if I choose to show the progress, um, I don't have to manage hiding it, hiding the progress bar later or destroying it. You can if you choose to keep it around if you want, but um, that's not the typical case. So that's it. Um, thanks to Aquarius for, uh, for URL fetch progress box.